This is episode 40 of the Christian Travelers Network. Today, we're going to hear some of your travel goals. Welcome to the Christian Travelers Network, where travel stories, community, and scripture combine. Hey, Christian Travelers. I have been asking you to submit some of your audio recordings of some of your 2020 travel goals and why those are your travel goals this year. And I've been asking a wide range of audiences and have gotten responses from a handful of people. And so today that's actually what we're going to be listening to is what your guys' 2020 travel goals are. And I can't say for certain that all of these people are Christian. I can't say for certain that God is leading all of these people to travel in these ways. But I think that sometimes when I suggest to you to be thinking about what God has in store for you in 2020, whether it is faith or travel related, um, sometimes it just, it's hard to think of what it could even possibly be. Like, we have things that we'd like to achieve, but what is God really calling us to do? And sometimes when we hear where others are traveling or how God is going to use them in their travels, it gives us a chance to kind of reflect on our own lives and how we have the opportunity to authentically do that ourselves. I'm actually going to save some special news regarding travel till the very end, but um Rather than doing my typical introduction, I'm just going to pass the baton off to all of you. And I want to thank you, all of you who submitted your 2020 travel goals, because this is what this network is about, is connecting all of you and uplifting all of you. So what are your 2020 travel goals? I want to go to four countries abroad and the Lord has laid it on my heart to visit these countries for the first time. And the first country that I want to go to is Kansas in the U.S. And I'll also go to San Diego, California. I'll also go to Japan and then India. I'm going to Denver, Colorado in March, and I'm going to Kentucky in July. I have two uh, travel goals for 2020 this year, um, and they're both very different. Um, the first um, is to visit my sister. Um, my sister and her family uh, live in Central Africa. And the second one's very different. The second one's actually uh, stopping uh, travel. Unfortunately, I don't have any travel plans for 2020. My travel goals are kind of funny. I want to go to Europe, but I'm going to do it twice. Once by myself and once with my family. I would say one of our goals, me and my husband, is to travel to Colorado. But I would love to travel more than just once a year with him. However, with schedules and busyness, it's not always convenient to leave Why is that location or that trip important to you? We have been married for a year and a half, and we kind of made it a a priority to take a honeymoon trip each year just to get away and spend some time together. Um, We kind of go through, he prepares like different questions of topics that we need to cover and discuss, whether it be finances or um spiritual growth through our Bible study or balancing work and school life. Um, We don't have any kids yet, so we don't really discuss that too much, but basically just a time for us to get away and take out that time to talk about things that maybe with the busyness, like we, we might discuss it obviously, or if something comes up, but it just is a set of time, set aside time to dive into those topics a little bit deeper Um, and then also obviously just have a fun time and enjoy each other's company and experience something new but I just see traveling as a way to connect with the people that you're with and experience something new whether it be a different culture or um, just a different experience. 
Um, I'm going to go to Prague and Vienna, God willing, by myself, so that I can really experience um, the culture of Europe. I'm going to go see an opera in Vienna. I'm going to go see uh, one of Napoleon's most famous battlegrounds, which would be Austerlitz. And I'm going to go there and just take my sweet time because I'm really used to rushing uh, when I'm on a trip. But I've got that second trip where I'm taking my parents to Europe. And uh, a lot of traveling with your parents is entertaining them and making them feel comfortable, uh, especially on public transportation in a foreign country, which they don't have a lot of experience with. Um, So the first trip is going to be me trying to relax. And the second trip is going to be me trying to entertain, uh, which are two completely separate goals. (laughs) So prayers appreciated. Um, Hoping to make those both fun and educational for everybody involved. My dad is not well and needs me to care for him. I'll be doing novel research on a book that he's put on my heart to write and I'll also go for a business conference that I'm registering for. With India, I'll go there for missionary work. Um, I want to go and fund the ministries of people who need support with establishing churches. And with Japan, I'm doing. I'm going there to do research on herbs, herbals, and healthy living, and what really makes a person strong. This way, I will be able to have a novel, rich experience on how that I want to incorporate um, the things that God has been putting my heart to teach through the novel writing. And then, with going to San Diego, I'll be able to master the science and art of being a joint venture partner and i want to strengthen my ability to form divine partnerships because that is what i teach and i want to master it on a deeper level this year and going to japan to i'll be able to master upgrading my lifestyle because it's not just about talking about it and just staying in my comfort zone here in my country i want to go out and taste every kind of delicious delicacy and be able to enrich my experience about how, how it feels like to really live a healthy lifestyle no matter where I am because my intention is to be a digital nomad which is I travel around the world and I want to take it one step at a time using this series. I'm reaching an unreached people group uh, with the good news of Jesus. Uh, that's a people group who don't have a church in their uh, in their grouping, uh, don't have the Bible in their language, um, and don't have any way of finding out uh, about Jesus because they're so rural um, and even uh, internet connection and data are nearly non-existent uh, in most of that part uh, of the country. Um, and so I'd love to, to visit her, to support her uh, in such a great work, um, uh, giving a chance uh, for people to to come and experience the Lord Jesus uh, in the scriptures. Um, uh, that'll be hard. It's uh, probably about two days uh, travel from where I live in Ireland and then two days back again uh, at the end. So it'll probably take a couple of weeks, uh, a major project um, in some ways and not very touristy at all. And the second one's very different. Uh, you may say, what? Stopping travel is one of your travel goals? And um, Well, I'm uh, going out with a, a girl I've been getting to know for the past uh, year or so. Um, and this year, um, I hope that I won't spend every week uh, taking a three-hour bus uh, down to the south of the country and a three-hour bus back up uh, once we're finishing each other. And hopefully, uh, for the first time, um, I'm hoping to propose and uh, hopefully uh, get married by the end of this year and that'll stop my travel and um, but hopefully uh, free us up for more exciting travels together uh, in the future thank you everyone for sharing your 2020 travel goals with us on this podcast it's been awesome to hear what god is doing for you and i wanted to take a moment to share what my travel goals are for this year it doesn't actually involve traveling my for myself, but it is actually geared towards you. I have been talking with a couple different travel agencies and with a small business coach to begin to develop and flesh out what it means to truly serve you as a community and how I can better serve you um, as you make some of your travel plans to follow the Lord and see where he is calling you. 
And so at the moment, nothing is finalized, nothing is set in stone. So if you have ideas, please hop over to my website at christiantravelers.net. There you can shoot me an email, check out some of our faith and travel resources, and when you message me, please tell me some of the needs that you see uh, that would benefit you as a Christian traveler and would benefit those around you. And then you can also join our Facebook group. Uh, Our discussion is always very lively, talking about how faith and travel correlate, and we're also on Instagram. But Going into this year, my travel goal is to really flesh out how I can best serve you and where the Lord is taking me in that process. And I just ask for your prayers and your input along the way. And I will continue to pray for all of your 2020 travels. Until next time, safe travels and God bless.